Okay then, gang. So there's one more little thing I want to do to this app before we move on and talk about Flexbox. And that is this. If currently I start to type something over here, a lot of the time when you're on your phone, if you click away from the keyboard, then it should close the keyboard. At the minute I have to press this, but not every device has that, I suppose. And I'd like to be able to just click over here, like if I click in here again, click over here or up here or here, and the keyboard is dismissed. So it goes away. So how do I do that? Well, there's a simple way we can do this. So I'm in app.js at the minute, and we're returning this component JSX, right? This is the surrounding container view of everything right here. Now, what I'm going to do is wrap this thing, so the whole kind of application, if you like, with another component. And that component is going to be a touchable component. Now, we've already seen these. We've seen a touchable opacity component, and we can add an on-press event to that. This touchable component is going to be slightly different. It's going to be called touchable without feedback. So when we press something or when we press whatever's inside this touchable component, then it won't start to affect the opacity of what's inside it. That's what without feedback means. So first of all, we need to import that. And we can do that up here, touchable without feedback. Now we need to import one more thing as well, and that is gonna be the keyboard because ultimately we're gonna be using this keyboard object right here to dismiss the keyboard. So first of all, we want to surround our entire component with that touchable without feedback component. So up here, I'm gonna to say touchable without feedback like so, and take the closing tag and paste it right at the bottom like that and scoot this in a little bit. Now we can add on an on press handler right here and this is gonna be an anonymous function like so. So what I'm gonna do first of all is console.log and then we'll just say dismissed keyboard. Now we've not dismissed it at the minute, I'm just logging this to show you whenever we click on anything now in this screen, because this touchable without feedback component surrounds everything so we can touch anywhere on this screen now then it's going to fire this function and then this should be logged to the console so let me save that and now if i click here then we should see if i go to this thing over here dismissed keyboard let me try somewhere else up here in the header and you can probably hear that little click as i do that dismissed keyboard so now we can listen to touch events everywhere right and what we want to do at this moment in time is actually dismiss the keyboard. So if I open this up, if I touch over here, I want it to move that thing down the keyboard. Now that's why we imported this keyboard thing at the top right here. We can use this now to dismiss the keyboard by saying down here, keyboard with a capital K dot dismiss. So this method dismisses the keyboard. So now if I start to type something, but then click away, then it dismisses the keyboard. It brings it back down. Let's try that again. Bring it up, click over here, dismisses the keyboard. Awesome. So there we go, my friends. That is pretty much this app done now, right? So in the next video, what I want to do is move on and talk about Flexbox. And in fact, what we'll do is we'll apply what we learn about Flexbox to this app so that we can maybe add something else to it in the future. But first of all, let's learn about the basics of Flexbox in the very next tutorial.